How's everyone doing? I'm going to be going on a coyote hunt in a few days and uh, I'm I'm shooting my Thompson Center Compass 22250 brand new rifle out from Thompson Center and I've already killed a few coyotes with it but uh, never spent a lot of time cleaning it so basically I'm I'm down here on my land in Kansas uh, I'm shooting it, cleaning it, shooting it, cleaning it, basically doing a little bit of a rifle barrel break in. And uh, so I wanted to show you too, whenever I was at the SHOT Show um, a few weeks ago, I met a couple fans and these fans, they sent me a product that they just developed. And what it's called is Magna Lens. It's basically hearing protection, and then you can put your uh, your your eye protection on it as well, and it's it, it's magnetic. So basically, when you put your your uh, eye protection on, they they sink into your your hearing protection, and it's pretty cool stuff. Hey there, Joe. Good to see you. Hopefully, Norm's watching. But I wanted to show you this this hearing protection. You can see these these little tabs right here. It, it's magnetic, so when I put my lens on, I'm going to show you. So basically, um, this snaps into this. See that? So, hey Brian, so whenever you put these on, they snap on. So you can still wear your hat and you don't have to worry about your lenses coming off your, your shooting eye protection. I'm gonna just shoot this a round or two and then I'm gonna clean. The thing I like about this new Thompson Center Compass is the fact that the clip, it holds five shells in here and then one in the barrel, so you're a five plus one. So anybody that's a predator caller absolutely needs that extra shot every now and then. There's many times I've called in multiples where you run out of shells in your clip and you're digging in your pocket, five plus one, six rounds, that's quite a few shots. So pretty cool feature. Now I hit about an inch and a half to the right of the bullseye. So basically on the barrel break in, this thing's still not shooting where I want it. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. My brother sighted it in. Just the way he looks through a scope, the way I look through a scope, a lot of times that's totally different. So I'm just gonna spend a little more time cleaning the barrel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a patch through and I have some some Hoppies number nine, copper remover gun bore cleaner. So I'm gonna run that through. I just dip a corner in there and it soaks up in there. Dip the other corner. There's no clean way of doing this, I don't think. Pull your bolt out. I should have a bore guide, but I don't have one of them. So what I try to do is I use my thumb and hold it up. And that patch that goes through is pretty dirty. It's black. So basically when you run it through, and I'm gonna pick all these up, you pull it back through 
now I've got another one with a brush, copper brush. You just run it through to loosen up any, any particles that are on your uh, rifling. Now I'm going to run another patch through. But I'm just running a dry patch through and that'll pick up some of the pieces that were left in the barrel from the, the, the brush going through. Now I'm not pulling it back through. You can see it picked up quite a bit. Hey Kirby. My brother's hauling limestone and he's going by. I'm surprised they aren't honking. Usually they're honking, so. <laughs> now I'm gonna shoot it again. to shoot at the same target to see where I'm shooting and I'm no bench rest shooter guys so when I shoot at a coyote I know where I'm supposed to be hitting so now you won't believe it but I hit the bullseye, dead center, just perfect. And that's luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I'm gonna run another patch through. And all I'm doing is I'm dipping it in the copper solvent. And this is just gonna help we're, we're trying to break the barrel in. I keep forgetting to pull my bolt out. Too many things going on. Like I said, I need a bore guide, but I'm just lining it up and just like shooting pool. That's after one shot, you can see it's, it's pretty dirty. But you're always gonna pick up stuff whenever you're shooting. The gunpowder and, and bits and pieces of the bullet. Now I'm gonna run the, the brush through to try to break up anything that's in there, loosen it. Push it through, pull it back through. Now I'm going to run a dry patch through. And that's after running it through again. You can see it's dirty. Hey, Jerry. another dry patch through just see what's there hey Jason now I'm gonna shoot it again Three position safety on this compass, I like that, but when you're used to shooting just a, 
a two position on safety, off safety, a lot of times you'll go to that first click and you think you're off safety and you'll pull the trigger and you can't get nothing to happen. But what the three position safety does, okay, it's on safe right now. You go to the second position, you can jack that bolt up and you could jack another shell in or whatever, but it will not fire. You have to go all the way ahead to fire to get it to go off. So I like it, but it takes some time to get used to that. I'm gonna shoot her again, see if I can even hit the target here. I hit just a little right and a little bit a little bit higher of the bullseye. Now like I said, I'm no I'm no expert on bench rest shooting. I I can shoot something with a heartbeat and that's what I'm good at. I'm going to run another patch through. I'm just trying to break this barrel lens, what I'm trying to do. I should have done it um, before my brother and I got it sighted in and uh, we went on a hunt. I killed a coyote. I killed several coyotes with it, made some good running shots. Uh, well, forget that patch. I need a bore guide, but I don't have one. This is called what you call redneck. Now it can be really hard pushing it through. You just, you gotta be careful not to break the rod, but you can see what that patch is like. Hey Jeff, you seen a coyote, why didn't you shoot him? You're not supposed to be watching me, you're supposed to be hunting. I'm gonna run the brush through now. Now running that brush through, it breaks stuff up and it loosens everything because you've got gunpowder in the barrel, you've got little pieces of copper from the bullet jacket and everything else, and they they stick to the, the rifling and then they start pitting your barrel so it's important to clean those out. I'm just running a dry patch through right now. Now I'm not pulling them back through. All it does, that jag, it's just got a point on it. So as soon as you hit the end of the barrel and you go to pull the rod back out, this will pop right off. But you can see it's pretty dirty. So that's what I'm doing. This is the all new Thompson Center Compass. I just uh, bought one for my dad, a 204. The price on it at Tim Sorensen's grocery store in Edgar, Nebraska, 349 bucks, okay? A threaded barrel, so it's got a cap on the end so you can suppress it. You don't have to pay that extra probably 75 bucks to have your barrel threaded when you're putting a suppressor on it. So that's one cool feature. The, the clip holds five on all the small calibers, five plus one in the barrel. So you, you have the potential for six shells. A little windy, I apologize. I'm 
run this uh, brush through. I'm going to run another patch through. Try to soak up some of the, the solvents that's in there. You can see, you can, you can clean these all day and it's going to be like this. How many shots? I would say at least a, a, a box of shells would be smart. Shoot once, clean it. Shoot once, clean it. Shoot once, clean it. Just keep doing it over and over. If you want to shoot like me, you got to do this. I'm just kidding. always got to make sure your jag uh, stays on there too it starts backing itself out so you've got to make sure it's always tight so always grab a hold of them and tighten them Right over the bullseye, about probably a quarter to a half an inch, just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm liking this. And one of the things I, I really like about the compass, too, is whenever you shoot coyotes at least for me i like a wider trigger not a hairline trigger i like i think it's like a, a beaver tail trigger it's a big flat trigger and this this rifle has that big wide flat trigger i really really like that i don't like you know i got used to the venture predator it's got a really thin trigger and believe it or not mentally it totally messes you up when you switch from one gun to another and you're shooting predators I'm telling you right now there's no easy remedy for all of that it, it, it'll mess up your concentration it messes up your just just being your confidence That was hard. Wow. I need a boar guide. And with this fiberglass rod, I need to be putting it on the other ones because it's a solid stainless steel. And see, that one went right through, no problem whatsoever. You get buildup of gunpowder, you get all kinds of stuff in these barrels, and it really changes everything. Now what I like to see when I'm just shooting like this is I like the fact that I'm hitting right there at the bullseye every shot. Just boom, 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 boom. So to me, this gun's right where it needs to be. 
and I'll go get the box. We may walk out there, but I just, I don't know if you guys want to stick around or not, but I'll just leave it play and Once you start pushing it in, it's it, you notice several times I had trouble getting it through. Once you start, just make sure you keep pushing it right on through. Note to self, right? Run the brush through, make sure it's tight. Always make sure that brush is tight. And I, like I said, I need a bore guide, but I don't have one, so I use my thumb. I set it right there like that and just run it right in like I'm shooting pool. And these are one piece rods. Uh, I've heard stories where people say not to use the screw in rods because they'll snag on your rifling and they'll damage your rifling over time. Um, so a one piece rod is what people say to use. I'm no expert. I'm just a coyote caller. So take that for what it's worth. You can see it's still fairly dirty. Now we'll see if I can hit the target again. Put the bolt back in. Put the clip back in. I hit just left of the bullseye. I've been hitting a little bit right. I hit just left. That could have been me pretty easily. I'm gonna shoot another shot. I think I hit right at the bullseye. Pretty impressed. I'm, I, needless to say, I'm very impressed, tell you the truth. I'm gonna probably try to go on a coyote hunt this week, um, but the weather is so nice here in Nebraska. Like, it's supposed to be 50s and 60s this week. It's terrible. Hey, Colette, I miss Kirby. <laughs> Must have five in there ready. Take the bolt out. Make sure it's tight. Grab a patch, they're all stuck together. Now all I bought is Cabela's patches and you've got to make sure you get the 22 cal. That's what we're shooting here. You buy them in bulk, it's 10, 11, 12 bucks for that whole thing of patches. You can go online to like Midway USA and they'll have all the reloading stuff. And then you want some of this copper remover, gun bore cleaner. You want a uh, bore guide. The bore guide goes in there and it's a little hole right here and it just guides you right in, straight in. Little hard, man, oh man. Then I'm gonna run the copper brush through it again. 
This will help break things up. Just down and back. Now I'm going to run a dry patch through it. Perfect. I'm going to run another one down it. Looking pretty clean. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shoot it at the center bullseye, shoot it again to, to adjust on elevation, and then uh, I'm going to call her good. Now I'm shooting the exact same loads that I'm going to be shooting at Coyotes. Uh, Hornady 50 grain super performance 22250. That's what I'm shooting. See if I can hit this. A little bit to the right. It's been wanting to creep to the right for whatever reason. So I'm going to open her up. I'm going to pull it over two clicks. One, two, and I'm going to go up at least an inch. I like to be about an inch and three quarter high at 100. One, two, three, four. And I always tap on the scope. Looks like I'm about an inch and a half high, maybe an inch and a half to inch and three quarter, and I'm a little bit to the left, so I'm gonna bring it back one more click. Pretty close to the, it, it just about hit the second one there, the second shot. Now we'll, uh, we'll go down there. I want to show you guys what I've been doing here. I think I can kill coyotes with that, I'll guarantee you. I'm shooting the Burris Predator Quest Signature Series Scope, four and a half to 14 by 42 mat and it's on this black compass TC compass let me get this off let's run down there real quick and see how my my shooting was let me close this now I was shooting at 100 yards I'm down on my place and there's you can see this big rock bank down here so I'm shooting right to a big rock bank. Hello, Keith. Bipod, Jamie. Jamie is a Harris Bipod. I've got them on my website. 13 and a half to 27 inch swivel is what I typically use. Okay, a little muddy down here. It got so warm that anywhere there was a little bit of snow, it, it started getting a little bit muddy.
I was shooting 100 yards, so. I'm surprised I even hit the target. What grain am I shooting? In, I'm shooting 50 grain superformance. I need to make it down there to Arizona. It's a time and money issue. <laughs> okay, I want to show you kind of what I did here. I'm going to move this around so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, let me see. Can you see this? Man, I can't hardly see. So bright. Okay. When I first started shooting at this, this dot, this upper, yeah, you can see it. This was the upper left corner. My first shot was over here. So I just cleaned the barrel. Then I pulled over and I hit this spot right here. Then I hit this spot and I never ever adjusted anything. I was just cleaning. Then I hit over here, but you gotta understand at 100 yards, that's nothing. And too many times we think, oh my gosh, I didn't hit the bullseye. It's tough, it's very tough. And then I hit a few more right in there. Then I moved down to this one, and my first shot was just to the right. Remember I was telling you it felt, felt like it was shooting a little bit to the right. Hit over here, I moved it over, I believe two clicks, and then I went up four clicks, and that's where I hit right there. And then I moved it back this way a click because I knew I was probably an inch and a half high at 100, and then I hit right there. So. You know, if I would have went over here, that's enough to be a flinch right there. So, not bad shooting at all. Uh, I think the gun is ready to go. Hey, Van. Long time no see. So, that's what that's what I did right there for shooting wise. I think I think this TC Compass is going to be pounding a few coyotes in the next few days. Well, I don't have much more to say. I'm kind of surprised as many of you joined me on this little uh, cleaning session as you did. I want to thank you all for joining. And uh, I will let you all go. You guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. And uh, get out there and get some calling done. <laughs> See you guys.